Irish people are kind of winning right now. I'm a very proud Irish man standing here tonight. And I'm assuming I'm Irish by my name. Assuming that I am Irish, it will actually be really good luck for you to subscribe. You know, I don't make the rules. What better time to learn about my Irish heritage than by watching the Disney Channel original movie, The Luck of the Irish, that has also been called the strangest oh. Disney Channel original movie, which is actually kind of impressive considering all of the other Disney Channel original movies that were made. <laughs> the Luck of the Irish came out in 2001 and starred this king, the king of Disney Channel. Have I watched it since I have had a single digit as my age? No. So in the spirit of Irish people winning, let's discuss the Disney Channel original movie, The Luck of the Irish. Our story starts off with our main character, Kyle, who is having a nightmare about how he doesn't know his heritage. Ah! Kyle. <gasps> This dream was triggered by Heritage Day coming up at the school. And anytime Kyle asks about his heritage, his parents get really weird. Where did we come from? You know, what's our heritage? We moved here from Cleveland. We're Americans, Kyle. Kyle's mom reminds him to always wear his lucky coin. Don't forget it. It's just this gold coin on a black string. Honestly, this looks like something that I would pick out at a gift shop at Wisconsin Dells. But apparently, it's real gold. It's high quality item. That is a grown man's hand. Kyle's basketball team is in the state playoffs, the first time they've ever done it. And Kyle, he's kind of the star. Tonight was the quarterfinals. And we were going all the way this year, state champions. And I was the reason why. Did you know Michael Jordan actually saw this movie and retired shortly after watching this? So Kyle is kind of the man. And he says luck has nothing to do with it. That was a lucky shot. Hey, luck's got nothing to do with it. Bonnie is friends with Russell and Kyle. And she is, of course, running the Heritage Day Committee. And she is really pressing Kyle about his heritage for some reason. And Kyle's just, like, evading the question by saying things like this. I mean, you know, this whole Heritage Day thing. It's, like, so public television. It's your history. Yeah, but I mean history. You know, it's like so 10 minutes ago. I don't know what he's on about at all, but sure, Kyle. What's just important that you know about Kyle is that he is the luckiest guy ever. He even managed to guess all of the answers right on his test that he didn't study for. These answers are all correct. Kyle is having dinner with his parents and he's like, I think I'm going to bring up this heritage thing again because it is kind of driving me a little bit insane. I need to know. His dad's like, we're from Cleveland. And he's like, well, we can't be from Cleveland forever unless we're Native American, which I don't think we are. And the dad's like, you're right, we aren't. And Kyle's like, okay, so then where did our ancestors come from? And the dad absolutely refuses to answer the question and avoids the question by talking about America. Being an individual is what America's all about, Kyle. Since asking about his heritage, the parents are giving very suspicious energy, borderline creepy energy. Kyle decides, okay, my parents aren't gonna be any help with this, so I need to do my own research. Side note, everyone, we gotta have a side note. Look at these beautiful Macs. Do you remember when our technology had some personality to him? He's researching, he's trying to figure it out, and he's not able to really find anything. So he decides to go looking in his own home for information, which I personally would have done before I went researching on the computer. I digress. He's looking through his parents' information and he finds his dad in the yearbook. And his last name isn't Johnson, it's Smith. Robert Smith is his dad's name. Kyle just continues being lucky, by the way. He just finds money on the ground randomly. So he's just living the dream. But he is still trying to figure out his heritage. He sees an advertisement for an Irish dance festival that's happening. And the only reason he has any interest in it is because the emblem on the flyer matches his coin. He said, that's a clue. Irish. Ah, uh, might make some sense. Him and Russell go to the festival. Now, before I continue the plotline of this movie, this was filmed at a amusement park that I have a season pass to. I recognize that place. I frequent that place. I wonder if my love for this movie manifested in me actually becoming a season pass holder of that amusement park one day. You know, that's something I haven't considered before. <laughs> they go to the Irish music festival and as soon as they say Irish, a flute starts playing, which is awesome. Just like the perfect transition sound. <laughs> Maybe my mom's Irish. 
It's like, oh, we're going Irish mode right now. Russell and Kyle are at the festival. They're just looking around. They're having a good time until they run into this old man who looks like Santa when he's not in his Santa outfit in every movie. You know, when Santa's in the real world. This old man is just saying some weird things to Kyle and then leaves. So. Did you make those yourself? That's about it from him. The real reason they're there is to watch The Saint of the Step. Seamus McTiernan. Tier. McTiernan. Mc, Nick, McTiernan. He's an Irish dancer and he has this whole Irish dancer crew and he kind of kills it. Rewatching the scene actually kind of sparked something in my subconscious mind of when I had a really deep obsession with river dance. <laughs> So this is Seamus McTiernan. He's the villain, if you couldn't tell by the way he looks. His face is burned into my memory forever. He also kind of looks like the evil guy from Lazy Town. These two are in the same category in the same filing cabinet folder in my brain. So I'm not gonna lie to you, this kind of slaps. This kind of goes hard and it kind of holds up and I kind of had good taste as a child being obsessed with Irish dancing. And we cut to Kyle. Kyle can't help but Irish dance. Can't help but jig. Then a bunch of these goons bump into Kyle. It looks like Kyle's necklace is still there, right? Hmm. Anyway, they leave and then Kyle's mom starts talking in an Irish accent. Top of the morning to you. And her hair is a little bit more red. Weird. Kyle's mom is giving very much. If you had the chance to change your fate, would you? His mom gives him this nasty looking lunch. No offense to any traditional Irish folk. It might taste very good. However, the noises that came along with it, I did not like. And I packed some Corbines and Colcannon. But today is different. Today, Kyle doesn't have any luck. I guess it must be the luck of the Irish. <laughs> Actually, he seems to have not only no luck, but bad luck. It's important that you know they just started randomly talking about this chip company called Emerald Isle. You want some chips? They're Emerald Isle. This is actually the most accurate high school boy thing ever. Touching the rim. Kyle, show him how you can touch the rim. Kyle touched the rim yesterday. Kyle can no longer touch the rim. No, that's very embarrassing for him. In order to get out of practice, they have to get 10 shots in a row. Kyle can't even get one. So what are you going to do for Heritage Day? I saw some Irish dancing over the weekend. Maybe I could do that. It didn't look that hard. Well, everything's easy for you, isn't it? You'd be a better person if everything hadn't always been so easy for you. Kyle's like, damn, Bonnie. Bonnie's like, yeah. Anyway, I got to go. <laughs> She clearly was holding that in for a while. There's another game and Kyle is doing really bad. And he's doing so bad that the crowd is booing him. Take him out, coach. They still managed to win the game, luckily. And the next morning, Kyle wakes up a short king. Kyle's mom has gotten so Irish, nearly offensive. If there is a way to be offensively Irish, she would be it, probably. <laughs> Also, to add on to this, the entire school hates him. Way to choke, Johnson. They switched on him so quick. It wasn't like, oh, everybody has a bad game. Everyone's bullying him now. It looks like in some sort of uh, science-y class. They managed to figure out the coin Kyle's been wearing is fake because gold will not attach to this magnet. And his coin is supposed to be gold. Uh-oh, the coin's been stolen. <gasps> Even worse, Kyle's ears are getting pointy and he has the perfect reaction and probably the way I would react if this was happening to me in which I just freak out and run away. And when he gets home, his mom's literally the height of this Arizona can. She is shrunk. This is when he's like, okay, y'all have some explaining to do. And the mom explains that, oh, she's actually a leprechaun from the O'Reilly clan. The coin is an heirloom that holds all of the family's luck. That's what keeps them also from turning full leprechaun. You're a foot tall. Oh, it could be worse, believe me. So why is she not panicking that she's turning into a leprechaun? I have no idea. But Kyle does explain to his mom that the coin has been stolen. The dirty thief. It's nothing but a bit of iron and gold paint on it. And they're trying to track it back. Who did they see at this festival? It had to have happened at the festival. That was the only place he went. Kyle's like, oh, this weird old man was there. And she's like, did he have a snake on the sole of his shoe? Conveniently, Kyle did see that. Yes. Oh, that's actually his grandpa. Oh, that's actually also the owner of Emerald Isle. Oh, Kyle's mom and his grandpa do not talk because she married a human. And she's a leprechaun, which... 
I'm not going to get into more details about that. Let's just, let's just move on. This CGI is better than any Marvel movie I've ever seen. So they're kind of on a timer. Kyle's going to go full leprechaun in a couple of days. So they need to figure out a way to get this coin back. And so they head to Emerald Isle headquarters, which is where Grampy lives. Grampy's not letting them in. Mr. O'Reilly says he doesn't have a daughter. And for you to go away and not to be bothering him again. Somehow, this old man manages to kick out both Kyle and his dad. Was he in like special ops or something? Honestly, I feel like that actor has been waiting his whole life to do that maneuver and I'm proud of him and I'm happy for him. Luckily, Kyle's school just so happens to be going on a tour of Emerald Isle. So he sneaks in with them and he runs into Bonnie and he's like, hey, my family's a bunch of leprechauns. I need to get to my grandpa. He owns the place. And she's like, your grandpa owns Emerald Isle, dude. And he's like, apparently, I got to go find my grandpa. <laughs> They have really high level security there, weirdly, and they're now getting chased by all of the security guards of Emerald Isle, which is a lot, actually, and they even have an alarm and everything there. Finally, Bonnie and Kyle get caught. Uh-oh. No worries. Grampy's there. He's like, I guess I'll talk to my grandson. Grandpa's kind of a little stinker, and he does not like the fact that Kyle is mixed leprechaun. <laughs> Grandpa kind of just says the same thing as mom did about how we're Irish people. We were so oppressed and then we came here and then we were oppressed again. But our luck was the only thing to get us through. Kyle's like, okay, cool, dude. But the coin's missing. Like, we need to find where the coin is. And Grandpa has a mental breakdown. Do you have to do that? Of course I do. I'm Irish. That's how I manifest despair. Kyle! Also, apparently, Grandpa invented the potato chip. Are you saying you invented the potato chip? That was over 100 years ago. So after doing some digging, they try and figure out who has the coin. Grandpa determines it's Seamus. It's always him. He's like this really specific type of leprechaun that like just lies and cheats and steals. And him a fair, Derek, as plain as I'm standing here. A, a what? what? So now they got their target. And then all of a sudden, Grandpa just starts going off about how, like, he doesn't like mixed marriages and he doesn't believe that leprechauns and humans should clash. Kyle's mom just punches him in the face. It wasn't me. <laughs> And it kind of shocked me a little bit when I watched it. So the dad and the grandpa decide to make up because they need to get their look back. They're on the move and they need to get Seamus. They also happen to run into Russell and Russell's like, oh my God, what happened to you? And just hops in the car. So now he's a part of the king too. Also, I just love dad's quiet reactions. He is telling stories with his eyes. But I swear! They locate Seamus's little RV. The dad's like, I'll go get the coin back. He does see this little pot with gold, if you will. But unfortunately, they see him and they zoom off. So now we have a car chase in this movie? Yes, and they even throw corned beef at the green convertible, which Grandpa drives. And this made me want to throw up. <laughs> That was a scream of pure terror and fright. <laughs> so now the gang is down because they lost Seamus. They don't know where he is and they have no luck. And things are looking pretty bad. Luckily, Bonnie's there to give them a hype up. I mean, when the Irish came to America, things were tough and they had to work at jobs other people wouldn't take and they didn't get paid what they deserved. Well, at least they got paid. And then they get motivated again. So good job, Bonnie, for the motivational speech. <laughs> Suddenly, they just have so much to do out of nowhere. They're trying to figure out how they can locate Seamus. I didn't remember this happening, but I was hoping in the back of my mind that they would actually see a rainbow and have to go to the end of it. And that's exactly what they do. Is it possible to go to an end of a rainbow? I don't think it is. Hey, Siri, is it possible to go to an end of a rainbow? It is impossible to reach the end of a rainbow as rainbows are actually full circles. Okay, Siri actually worked pretty well that time. Good job, Siri. Siri's on my side again. They managed to find Seamus and his crew at this family restaurant. So instead of going into the restaurant, they decide to break into the RV. Good idea, because that's where all the gold is. And the safe's locked, but don't even worry about it. Grandpa has these magical powers of unlocking a safe. <laughs> I would like to know what else he can do and why he hasn't used his powers before, unless it's only for safe unlocking. We don't know. Kyle puts on his gold coin and he's back to being a real boy. Everything's solved. Everything's squared away. Nuh-uh-uh. Seamus has this little ditty of a power and then takes Grandpa, what I assumed would be to another realm, but no, it was just simply outside. <laughs> he was just simply taken outside the RV. <laughs> 
and then brings grandpa back in anyway kyle remembers these types of leprechauns love gambling so he gives seamus a wager that if he can beat him in sports then he gets to keep his coin and he has to let go of his grandpa and seamus says put her here Ooh. where is this i realize now it just looks like a golf course in the middle of california but in my child brain i thought that this was ireland <laughs> They're wearing these, I'm guessing this is a traditional Irish garb, and they're gonna be playing traditional Irish sport games. So him and Seamus go head to head. <laughs> they end up with a tie. That's unfortunate because Kyle actually needed to beat Seamus. And Seamus is like, okay, I'm going to take your grandpa and make him my slave. And I'm also going to take your coin and take all of your luck. Thank you. And Kyle's like, no, 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 no. I'll bet you something else. And Seamus is like, you literally have nothing else to give me. I'm going to go. Kyle's like, okay, cool, cool, cool. I'll be your slave. And we just have to play basketball. I won't use my luck. Okay, Kyle. Kyle's a little confident. Seamus said, I like that idea. Put her there. Boom! They're at a state championship basketball game, it looks like, and they're just letting this old man play. Isn't he a little old for junior high? Let's just play ball, boys. So they play their little basketball game. And in this overtime basketball game, Grandpa actually gives Russell a lucky coin. He just said it was a lucky coin. He's like, yeah, this is a lucky coin. When you think something's lucky, you're gonna think you're lucky. It's called Miss Lucky Girl Syndrome. And Russell's like, oh, I'm lucky, I'm killing it. Kyle's like, you lied to him, Grandpa. And Grandpa's like, he didn't need luck, he needed confidence. Ooh, Kyle said, yeah, I don't need any luck. The luck's inside him. And Kyle starts bawling. Come on inside me, the luck of the Irish. Hey, but How many times can you say you watched a sports montage to Irish traditional music not many i bet so seamus is getting kind of mad because he's about to lose and he goes full evil leprechaun mode and i remember this face very 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 clearly in my mind because it scared me a little bit despite seamus turning into an evil leprechaun kyle and his team still wins let's go <laughs> And also, I guess at the same time, they also won the state championship. I don't know what this kind of fever dream, alternate timeline, parallel timeline, don't know what that is, alternate universe thing that just happened. But they did win the state championship and everybody loves Kyle again. They're like, yeah, Kyle, you're kind of the man. Hey, do you guys remember what you did two days ago? You literally bullied him. Are you not ashamed of yourself? <laughs> Kyle kind of kills it on the dance floor for Heritage Day and he does that little cool guy nod at the end he's even wearing his cleveland shirt and everything and he's like yeah i have accepted my heritage as an irish teenage white kid in america let's go <laughs> that was the end of this movie the idea that this movie was not made recently but that this was one of the first disney channel original movies which means that this idea was quite high on the list of movies they wanted to produce is actually kind of genius actually makes this a incredible film <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i love you all so much and we'll talk again soon okay i don't know why i did that Bye.